Hi everybody! Hello. So I had an idea of this game and basically it's called Two Christians, Two Perspectives. And I'll ask a question and both of us, this is Akila from Naked Pulse, we'll put up either yes, no, or maybe and we'll talk about it. There's so many different perspectives, there's different ways that we look at life and through um, just different lenses because of our own personal backgrounds and context or whatnot. So I just thought it would be fun just to hear different perspectives on things in life that we have questions about or things that are big out in the world, um, culturally, socially, all kinds of stuff. So to start us off, the first question is going to be, is it possible to be too ambitious? <laughs> Drum line. What'd you say? Maybe. Maybe? maybe? I say yes. yes. You can be too ambitious. Why do you say maybe? I don't think it depends. I think okay. it depends on the circumstance. Okay, such as? Okay, so basically I believe if you are walking in your God-given purpose, you can't be too ambitious, especially when you're following the leading of God and you're hearing God's voice and you're being led by Him. In my opinion, faith without works is dead, right. so chase after it. For me, you know, God has called me to certain things in life, and I believe that I should do all that I can to really get there. Now, my maybe comes from, I do believe that in certain circumstances, people who are overly ambitious, they tend to compromise to get where they need to go. Agreed. You know, they'll compromise their morals and their beliefs. For me, going into the entertainment industry, there's certain things that I have to say no to, trusting that God is going to get me exactly where I need to be without compromise. So that's where my maybe comes from. It really just depends. So chase after your purpose. Go after what it is that God is calling you to do, but just don't compromise. I guess I'm kind of near you, but I would still stick with my yes. I do think that you can be too ambitious or overly ambitious because generally ambitious people don't know when to stop. And I think that following your purpose, as Akilah said, it is guidance. It's being led by the Holy Spirit. I remember I was listening to a sermon by Christine Kane, and what she said was, um, human ambition, that drives you. And godly destiny, which is godly ambition, it draws you. Mm -hmm. And when something is drawing you, it's more so of a guidance. And I think that when something that it drives us, we start to put all of this pressure and all of this work on us as though it's us that's making these things happen. Agreed. And I think that we live in a generation, too, where things like family is put below career or... Um, I don't know, almost anything now is career driven, but I think too we have to take into account Akila is very, she's a career woman. You wouldn't tell now, but she's like office, corporate. She's going to be an executive of something. And you know, I struggle with that being right. too ambitious. And we always talk about like, I don't want to put my work before my family, family, you know, so. Yeah, whereas someone like me, I'm more so not go with the flow, but I don't have to have a career. I'm a little old school. I love the idea of having a family, not being a stay-at-home mom, but being able to be at home and do um, different things. Like, I feel like that that's my focus right now. But I guess overall, we can conclude that it is possible to be overly ambitious, but it depends. All of our cases are different. All of our scenarios are different, what we go through. Is different but we can or also too we can always do things in excess mm -hmm. and because of that we want to be mindful is what I'm working so hard towards is this something that I really feel God is calling me to do or God is leading me to do or am I being driven off of the money am I being driven off of just what I determine is success or how I define mm -hmm. success and once you kind of have those things in line I think that you can't be overly ambitious because, like she said, faith without works is dead. I think we have to be ambitious. We can't just sit around and wait for God to yeah. just hand us things. There's work that has to come with it. But at the same time, we can't lose ourselves. We can't lose why it is we're doing what we're doing. If your attention just starts to be too focused in one area and you're forgetting that our ultimate purpose is to bring people to Christ and make disciples of men. And if you're starting to live a life where you're not doing that, then maybe you have to, you know, go back, reflect, 
and pray and ask God, am I being overly ambitious that I'm forgetting what the heart of what it is that you desire for me to do? Yeah, and I, I, I agree. I think it's all about the heart and the intent and the person. Mm -hmm. Because as you were talking, I thought about Paul. Right. Like, Paul was ambitious. Ambitious to the <laughs> I'm still ambitious. trying to be like Paul. I'm not that ambitious, but he was so ambitious. You know, he really wanted people to know who Jesus Christ was. Right. And with that, he did it nonstop. Like, without, he didn't care if he got arrested. Like, it did not matter. Nope. And it didn't stop him. He was still ministering to people in jail. Like, yeah. that is true ambition. So, again, it's all about where you're putting your ambition towards. Seek ye first the kingdom, kingdom of God, God, and all things will be added unto right. you truly. So, really... I think overall our hearts have to be ambitious for Christ. Right. You know, um, and everything else needs to have a balance, truly. So I changed my answer. <laughs> no, I didn't change your answer. No, I don't change my answer. Okay, it's still maybe, it's still but maybe. really, really, really just your heart has to be ambitious for Christ. Yeah. As you follow him, there's no, you can't go wrong. Like you just absolutely can't go wrong. And for those of you who are ambitious, again, we are not saying do not be ambitious. Yeah. Um, ambi being ambitious and having just that spirit is an amazing thing. But you know, it's okay to slow down and it's okay to know that you don't have to be going 100,000 miles per hour yeah. to get to where you're supposed to get. Purpose is something that um, begins to bloom. It yeah, begins it to blossom time. over time. So what yeah. may be your purpose now, God will eventually eat evolve that you know yeah. so hopefully you like this game if you have any ideas of other perspectives um that you would like to talk about i know there's some things i want to talk about that are kind of sensitive topics different perspectives on that please let me know um so we can get this going and i think that it's good for us to have these dialogues and it's important to know that we can still believe in jesus christ we can still believe in well let me just say this we can have different perspectives, but just biblical truth, what is in the Bible is in the Bible. There is no, well, I think it's like this. Word. We're only talking about gray areas. Yeah. Um, just so we're clear about that, there is no other perspective. Jesus is the Lord and Savior. We, okay, so you got it. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you.